After I posted my video on how you can create a full name column from two first and last name columns in Excel, I got a great question from a viewer who said, what if I start with a full name column that is last name comma first name? How can I make that into a full name column that is the first name space last name? So I'm gonna show you how to do that today in Excel. All right, let's go ahead and clear out the first and last name columns. We're gonna just select this and clear it out because we want to start with just the last name comma first name. All right, so what we're gonna do, let, we're gonna copy this over. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy, and I'm gonna paste that over here. And so we have a, col a new column that we're working with, and we're going to use the text to columns feature. So I'm going to make a selection of those first and last names that I want to separate into two different columns. We're gonna come up to the data tab in Excel and come over to text to columns. And then we're gonna be able to use the delimited option here because there's a comma separating the first and last name. So we can use that comma as our delimiter. So all we have to do is uh, select comma here and you'll notice down below in the data preview, what that does is it will sp split out the first and last name into two different columns. We're gonna click next and then we're gonna click finish. And here we now have a column with all of the last names and first names. And so from here, what we can do is use the concat function or the ampersand so that we can recombine those into the full name column that is first name space last name. So let's do that right here. I'm going to copy this over. So we will do that in this column over here. And I'm going to type equals, and then we're going to select the first name, and then we're going to hit ampersand, quotes, space, quotes, ampersand, and then select the cell with the last name and hit enter. And so now we can drag that down and we have a new column now that is the full name of first name space last name. Now, what we wanna do, notice we have the formula in there, and so what we wanna do is select all of those cells. We're going to right click and copy, and then we're going to right click, and we're going to paste special and values. And what this does is it replaces the formula with the name that's actually in that cell. So now, if we wanted to delete our work here, what we've been able to do is take a full name column that is last name comma first name and make it a full name column that is first name space last name. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.